So Frank, at the end of the interview, usually the candidate is kind of must ask some questions to their potential employer or about the company, the culture and everything. So what, what are some of the questions that you've been asked that they were surprised that candidates are asking you? Um, well, questions are always good. I feel like sometimes potential job candidates might not ask a question because they feel like they're, they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. But honestly, you, if you think about it, you, you are applying for a job, looking for a, the next place in your career where you could spend the next six months or six years or you know, 20 years at this company. So these are the times to ask the questions. Uh, I would say if you're applying for a job and you feel like you can't ask questions and it's a one-sided interview, mm -hmm. um, again, those are sort of, to me as an applicant, I'd have red flags because I, this is the time for me to ask questions. You know, Do I belong here? What's my room for growth? And those types of things. So usually it should be a two-way dialogue. It should be with the person interviewing and the interviewee, and it should be a very happy back and forth and very welcoming situation. Um, I would say from a closer perspective, I think two great questions to ask at the end of an interview would be, um, one would be, is there anything I've said that makes you doubt I'd be a great fit for this position? Yeah. So that way, if the HR person says, no, you'd be an awesome fit for this position. Well, then you know, if you get rejected, it's like, well, wait a minute, I thought I was a great fit here. So mm -hmm. there's that kind of, that question there where you put a little pressure on HR to say, hey, am I a good fit? And they may say, well, you know, I wish you saw more of this. I wish you had better experience here. I wish you would have done this. You could potentially use that as a way to get good feedback. So A, you learn. B, you can use that for next time. And then C, maybe the answers to the questions that you get from HR open up a, an additional dialogue for that person to connect with you. Because it is about connectivity to yeah. that, that HR person, whoever's doing the interview, needs to feel a good connection with you, needs yeah. to feel comfortable at hiring with you. So if you can open up dialogue for more questions, great. Mm -hmm. um, and then the another one that's sort of in the same vein there is, you know, do you have any hesitations about my qualifications? Mm. Um, you know, anything that anything on my resume that would prohibit me from getting this job or how I stack up against other applicants that you had. Again, you're putting the pressure back on HR um, to, for HR to say, no, your qualifications look great. You know, everything you're checking all the boxes. So yeah. now it's like, OK, good. I'm, I, at least I feel comfortable there. Mm. Or maybe they say, well, we wish you had this or it'd be great if you had this additional qualification. Mm. So yeah. the, again, you're you're giving HR the opportunity to give you feedback, but also learning about maybe things that you could have done better. Um, because sometimes you're going to have to apply for several jobs before you actually land one. And I think if you can learn things along the way, you're going to get better and better in the interview process. Your resume will look better and you'll be more prepared. Mm -hmm.